Hi, my name is Jenna, and I'm going to show you what your team member sees when they log into their Doolotto account. So I am acting as if I am the owner of the team, and this is one of my participants. I am logged in as her, as you can see up here, and she is added to my team. When she logs in, the dashboard will look just like your dashboard. Um, one of the main differences is when she goes to settings, she cannot edit anything here. She can view roles, so she can see who the owners of the team are, any contributors, and any participants. And if she clicks on members, she can see a little bit more information on each member of the team, including their contact information and what services they provide. This person can also see what roles that each team member has and how many clients they have, and they can send a message to team members here. When they click on clients, they can see any clients that are assigned to them. If they click on a client profile, they can view their profile. Depending on what type of permissions you have given your team member when you assigned a client to them, they may be able to edit the client profile here. They can add a payment method here for the client. They can also easily send a message to their client right here. They have access to the quick stat and birth info cards on the right hand side. Again, depending what type of permissions you have given this team member, they may be able to edit the type of journey and client status. Your team member will have the ability to change the quick card as well. They can add some new fields here if they want to add anything and they can also move these around. These different sections also work just like your Doolotto account work, where they can send notes to the client, they can add labels to organize the notes, they can send and receive files from clients, they can send paperwork and anything your team or agency has uploaded as templates for your team members to use will show here. They can also add invoices, add services, create the invoice. Depending on the type of permission that you have given to your team member, they may or may not be able to add services because this team member is a participant. They do not have access to add services as a team, but the services will be located in the invoice section. So when they are charging for services, they can easily choose a service here. Then when they click on the templates tab, anything that you have available for your team to use as templates will be located here. Any documents, forms, or resources. And because this person is a participant and not an owner or a contributor, they do not have the ability to add their own documents and forms. You would have to add that for them. And then depending again on their permissions, they may be able to edit those documents and forms once they're uploaded, but they cannot create new ones. When your team member clicks on billing, they can see what services are available to charge for, and they can also create new invoices. If any payments have been made, those will show up here. Your team member can change their profile information at any time. They can easily see different client journeys that are currently active with them. Your team member can click on messages here. Any messages that they have going between team members or clients will show up right there. And they can also use the reminders and tasks feature as well.